Two U.S. journalists arrested in North Korea have been found guilty of a grave crime against the communist nation and of illegally crossing into North Korean territory. The country's state-run television reports Laura Ling and Yuna Lee were each sentenced to 12 years in a labor prison as part of the conviction. Ling and Lee were working on a story about trafficking of women for former Vice President Al Gore's current TV when they were arrested back in March. Since then, U.S. officials and others have worked for the reporter's release, but to no avail. I do think that Al Gore may uh, be able to go over or at least um, step in in some way to take steps to get them released, uh, especially because he is uh, technically basically their employer and because he has um, so many ties. And I think someone at that level does need to step in and uh, start taking action. Their trial in front of North Korea's top court started last Thursday. It was closed to the public and foreign observers. Ling and Lee cannot appeal the ruling. All decisions with North Korea's highest court are final. The 12 years is uh, difficult to hear, but um, I'm hoping that it's more symbolic than anything else and that maybe they'll be uh, released within a matter of months. In recent weeks, there were rallies and vigils across the country trying to raise support and recognition for the two journalists. Foreign observers say the 12-year sentences in a labor camp are much harsher than expected. Many had speculated a conviction would lead to five or ten years instead. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.